Don't do that no more. Suck my dick. Go. Uh, what you know? Uh, Yo, what's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, I mean, my name is Smojo. Welcome back to another video. We're doing a Dungeons with Randoms today, and uh, if you guys don't know, in the last video, a homie, a little birdie of mine, told me that this strategy also works on King D, aka the Trash Monster. So we're gonna be trying it out. Um, if you're not, if you guys are not familiar with the cheat on King D, basically, if a faint is casted on King D, one of his minions will take the faint from King D and put it on himself. Um, so I'm assuming the way that it's going to go down is I'm going to do the strategy and, and instead of the faint being casted or, or the faint being transferred from King D to the minion, uh, the hex will be transferred from King D to the minion and then the faint will remain. So we're going to be trying this out. i um, not sure if it's exactly going to work. If it does, then this might absolutely change the strategy that people use to farm King D. Um, and the current strategy, I believe, is to just... What, what's the... I. I really don't. I really don't. I haven't done this in a long time. I really don't know what the strategy is on King D. But we're here. We're, we're popping. We're gonna be doing this. We're not gonna be flaming players because everyone's here trying to get better gear. Of course, you know they're they're just trying to farm for for you know reages and shit. So we're not gonna worry about their stats. They're all probably shit. Um, but we're here anyway. So yeah. Now one thing that I am kind of worried about when it comes to the strategy, if you guys don't know, in Omen String Bean, the strategy really comes in clutch. Considering the fact that you can flee come back and do the exact same thing and just stack faints up on uh, on Sentinel. Now, when it comes to this battle, that might not go down the right way. Mainly because from the start of the dungeon all the way to where the boss is is a long like distance. So you might just miss your round. You know, you'll flee, try to come back, miss your round, and then it just it just kind of sucks after that. So. I'm not really sure if this is the best place to even do a strategy like this, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna see anyways, just to you know test it test it out test out the waters. All right, so these guys said they're doing the two round strategy. If I'm not mistaken, the two round strategy is where everyone just joins and then everyone faints or some shit like that. Um, not really. I, I might fuck this up. <laughs> I haven't done this in a long time, but I might fuck this up. I think everyone just faints. At least that's what I think everyone does. I'm, I'm almost certain everyone faints. She's doing regular faint. Then I'm just going to do boot sharp and faint. Okay, I told them in advance. I'm going to try something, and I'm sorry if it messes something up. I'm just going to tell them in advance. Because I really don't know. I'm, I really don't know if you're allowed to faint on the second round or not. I, I really don't know. I wonder if protected faint works. Hold on. I should probably ask. All right, we're not going to ask. <laughs> So I'm just, just double protection. I'm going to hex and then protect it faints the main boss. Just double protection. It's double protection. Okay. So it, it's, it's double protection. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not sure if this is going to completely work, but I, I just want to see what will happen. I really just want to see what will happen if I do this. So there's the indemnity faint. Hex is going to go out. The cheat's going to activate. Why? I told you in advance. Mini head, I told you in advance. All right, let's see what happens. He's gonna take. What did he take? Protection removed. So, so wait. Did he take the? Did he take the hex? Did he take the hex? I think he took the hex and didn't remove the protection on faint. So can you faint on the second round of King D with the strategy? With protect the faint hex. Here, I guess we're, we're about to know if he took the faint or not. Because I don't know if he just takes a random trap. He took the hex. He took the hex. So it's completely possible. So it's completely possible. Okay, so... Wow. That's insane. I did not know that. So if you... If you... Don't do that no more. Suck my dick. If you, if you do Indemnity Faint and then Hex... He'll take the hex and then he'll try to take the faint, but then the faint is indemnity, so he won't take the faint. So the faint just stays on him. That is insane. But for someone to really use this, let me think. For someone to really use this, I think they would have to like not do regular faint because protected faint is pretty much just a regular faint, right? So if you place down a regular faint and you place down a protected faint, they won't stack. The game thinks they're the exact same faint, so they won't stack. So 
that means that on the first round, somebody can't do Indemnity Faint and somebody can't do Regular Faint. It would have to be Treasure Card Faint, uh, Boot Faint, Enchanted Faint, and then like Mass Faint or something. All right. That's the only way the strategy would work. That's pretty damn awesome, though. I had no clue that that would work like that. That's that's insane. I'm actually excited about that. I kind of want to do it again. I kind of high-key want to do it again. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to be making another video of the exact same dungeon, but just a cleaner strategy. This time, I'm going to use Mass Faint as well. I got that in my arsenal, um, and I changed around my deck a little bit just to make this a little bit better. And I might even make a video on this you know just just because um you know because you know why not you know um but yeah i appreciate you guys being here hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that was that was a learning experience for me that is for sure that was definitely a learning experience um but yeah thank you for watching the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on the next uh dungeons with randoms peace